right, so this is the method I'm showing in this uh, video how to how to find the misfire. It's not so much you know waveforms and things like that, but this is how to show how to find a misfire uh, without having data stream or anything like that helping you. Okay, so even if I didn't have a scanner, uh, but I have my scope. I'd still be able to verify a misfire in this car and the cylinder, providing, of course, that I know the firing order. But, uh, you know, this is what I'm getting at. You can do this other ways. So if you run into this where you don't have, uh, you don't know which cylinder's misfiring, this is a really good method of finding uh, that misfire without going completely crazy, spending a lot of time. It only took me about five minutes to do this, hooking up the scope and verifying, you know, which cylinder it was. And, uh, You'll see, just take a look and you'll see how we, uh, how we approached it, okay? Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, got a uh, 2000 uh, Ford 5.4 G150 and uh, this thing came in for a complaint that it's misfiring, it's not running right. So, I wanted to go through this, I wanted to do a video on this because I know I've been working on these Fords for a long time and uh, a lot of times with these things they they'll have a misfire and they don't set a code. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there know about Mode 6. On a scan tool, you can go into Mode 6. On this particular scanner, it shows it right here. And you can see the, um, the key on. You can see the misfire counters on it. All right. This particular truck is not showing any misfires. Uh, it's not counting on any of the cylinders. Let's see if I can show you here. cylinders misfiring. Now we could have obviously a bad coil bed, plug bed, cylinder bed, uh, injector, vacuum leak. I don't believe it's a vacuum leak, however, uh, because this misfire does not get better uh, if you raise this engine up. It does not change. Uh, it's there all the time. It's a dead miss. I could feel it. Uh, drove it. You know, obviously I feel it. So what I'm what I'm going to do with this thing is, instead of uh, playing around, I put a scope on it. I did a relative compression check. Relative compression passes, okay? We don't have a problem there. So we don't have a dead hole. We don't have a cylinder that's weak. Uh, we have something else going on here. So what I want to do is, I got the I got the Pico set up. And I'm going to car wrap this thing. And we're going to see if we can find something. If I can get the key to turn. I'm going to grab a cylinder here that's easier to get to. I have my firing order for this thing somewhere. And I'm just going to go on the coil primary, my second lead, and we're going to see if we can figure this out. If you're using the Pico, you're doing primary, don't forget to use your. Um, attenuator if you're doing primary ignition okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pause this and here's our uh, red trace is our uh, primary okay which we don't care what cylinder we're on again because it really doesn't matter what we want that for is to uh, sync our scope so we know which cylinder is misfiring if I remember right, I think it was this one. Yep, it's that one. So this is the one right here. I'll put a uh, put a cursor in so I can mark the cylinder that's bad. Right, that's where the cursor is. Okay, that's our problem cylinder. So now we know this one is number four because this is synced right here. So we need to figure out what our fire motor is. I have 
right here. And according to the firing order, it would be cylinder number four, eight. So it would be cylinder one. Now it would start the process over. So this is four. After four is eight. So this would be three. I'm sorry, this would be one. Three is our problem. Right? So you see what, you see what we're doing here? You see what's going on? This is our firing order at the bottom. We're on cylinder number four is our sink. Right here. That's our sink. So after that you'd count. It's number eight, number one, number three. Number three. That is our culprit. That's our problem coil. So I'm gonna get a coil for this thing, pop it in, and we're gonna move on, all right? And I'll get a pattern of this thing after I get a uh, new coil in here, hopefully. All right, guys, we've got the new coil in on number three cylinder. And um, that would be, let's see, here again, number four, eight, one, three would be this one. And we're going to see what the pattern looks like now. As you can see, we have a good pattern. We have no misfire in this truck now. And uh, we've got a nice and smooth. And that's that. Um, I hope this would help some of you guys out there to figure out which cylinder is misfiring. And um, it was more really about, you know, deciphering this misfire. That's why I wanted to do this. When you don't have a code, and you don't have any information on misfire monitor for one of these things. I'm sorry about the background noise in here, man. I got a heater going, the engine's running in this, another car is loud in here today. Um, but again, with the scope, this is what you're capable of doing. And this is very basic stuff here with the scope, but this is the kind of stuff that could really annoy you when you're trying to figure out where the misfire is coming from. And of course, if, uh, if we had a, uh, if we come up dry here with the miss, we would have moved on to injector testing. Uh, that would have been my next thing for the, you know, see which cylinder, if we had a bad injector or whatever. But uh, luckily we found it with a coil. It was an easy fix, uh, or as easy as you could expect on an F-series, an E-series van to change a coil. Um, but that's it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys at the shop.